SpaceX, the company founded by futurist and eccentric billionaire Elon Musk, has requested permission from the US Federal Communication Commission, the FCC, to test a project to beam high-speed internet via satellite as reported today by the Washington Post. Musk first made his plans known in January at a SpaceX event in Seattle. The idea involves a network of about 4,000 small, low-cost satellites that will be deployed from the company's Falcon 9 rocket and orbit Earth while connecting to ground stations on the West Coast. And although this sounds pretty cool, pretty sci-fi, yeah. I got some beef with it because <laughs> for me, this is just the tech conglomerate finding new customers. There's about 3 billion people in the world that are not connected to the internet. And for all of these tech companies, are 3 billion new customers. So although the advancement is pretty cool, I would like for everybody to kind of think about the real objective of all these technologies and this effort to provide the internet to those who don't have it yet. So your, your problem with this project is the inequality of it. It's, it doesn't give a lot of people access to what he's doing. Well, they're not saying that it's going to be for free. It's not like they're going to put these satellites and then suddenly, oh, free internet for the world. That would be cool, but it's not. They are trying to set up an internet service that they, they will sell to the customers. And they're not the only ones. Richard Branson is doing it with the Virgin Group. They're having their own project called OneWeb. Uh, where they are also developing a satellite constellation around the planet that will provide with the internet. Um, there's Facebook was talking about doing their own project on internet.org. Reportedly, they decided to drop it off after the FCC received this uh, application. There's another initiative by Google to provide balloons with the internet for areas. And some of those initiatives, they do have this component of social consciousness of bringing the access to, to, to poor areas in the country so they're not completely off the grid. But the reality is at the heart of it, they are looking forward to a new bunch of customers that can engage doing business in the internet where the business is shifting to. I mean, why can't he do this? I'm of the opinion that, you thank God, they're, we're finally privatizing space. You know, I'm so sick and tired of people like Stephen Huff, the Army Intel officer and CIA, um, you know, personality that then went into private industry, um, started Overwatch satellite systems, NSA is his biggest customer. You know, finally we're doing something good. I, you know, I, I'm, you know, but what I'm, about the implications? I'm pro. What about the implications of having a network of satellites around the world transiting all the data from the planet? I mean, we will have now the internet go to this network of satellites where the data is going to be collected, it's going to go up and down. So it's just institutionalizing how they're going to collect the data from all of us. It's creating a monopoly on the, the delivery of internet to remote access where infrastructure hasn't been created. I think so, there's a lot of things. <laughs> this is just for a, a small set of, the, the permit is just for a small set of satellites that will be a test starting next year. Let's remember that Google, uh, Fidelity, they gave $1 billion to SpaceX to develop this, this project. So there's a lot of people trying to get into because there's money behind it. I mean, what I hear you saying is that you have a problem with this geosynchronous overreach, uh, you know, I, yeah, issue. Yeah. When I mean, you know, if if you can't beat them, join them. At least we're, you know, being creative and a little entrepreneurial here, as opposed to letting our government just control everything. You know, I, I like. I don't the think the government even has the the, the the manpower to put this out there. That's right. why there's private industry taking care of it. Right. But at the same time. We just need to be critical about the developments of technology. Why are technology being developed the way and at the rate that it's being developed? Mm -hmm. I think we need to be critical and attentive of the real, real reasons of all of these projects. Let us know what you think in the comments and please subscribe to the Leap TV too.